Hello YouTube, it's me, Bergy, and guess what? It is 2016. 2015 has gone so fast, and I mean, I can't believe it's 2016 and I'm 21, and this is my technically third number year of doing YouTube. I really need to stop doing that with my hair. I'm going to do a video on um, my New Year's resolution later, and I need to remember to put that in there. But anyway, yeah, um, I totally forgot what I was saying. So let's see. Yes, uh, 2015 went so fast. Like everybody on the internet, it felt like yesterday was 2007 when that was in reality nine years ago. I turned 21, so I'm feeling old, even though, of course, that's not that old, but I feel like I should still be 12. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. I feel, I don't feel 21. I do not feel mature enough to be 21. <laughs> I don't do things that most 21 year olds do. So yeah, this, <laughs> this is crazy that it's 2016. But anyway, this video is going to be about me doing a little recap of all the books I read in 2016. So, I mean, if you want to see what books I read, please continue on watching this video if you feel like it. <laughs> but anyway, so this year I only read 25 books. No, not even 25. 24 books. It couldn't even be a good number like 25. I've read only 24 and I have to remember that it's partially because I do not include any of the books that I read for class, even though they are like classic literature books and they're not textbooks. They kind of are my textbooks, so that's why I don't want to include them. Um, also, when I'm in Scotland, I don't have access to a lot of books because I can only bring a number of books from home because I have other stuff like clothes and shoes and just random things that I need to bring to school and books are kind of sadly put down on that list of things I need to take and what's necessary. Then also I don't want to buy books over there because they are expensive and I feel like they're more expensive than it is to buy books here. I might be wrong, I need to look into that because <laughs> this past year I've gotten better at going into the city center by myself so and I know where the bookshop is there so if I do find out that they are cheaper or they're worth the money, which books are always worth the money, but I gotta think about how much money I want to spend on them because I could go crazy. But um, if I do find that they're cheaper, that could be an option. But there's also no good library ne near me. I should also look for that, so I don't really have good access to books. So those are the reasons why I'm kind of not at how many books I want to read a year. And also when I come back home for the summer for Christmas, I spend most of my time with family and friends. So I don't really have time to read books, which is sad. But hopefully that'll change this year. But anyway, about the books I read in 2015. Like I said, 24 I read. And because I didn't read that much, I figured I would list all the books that I read this year. Just say the name and then I'll put in the description bar below definitely and then maybe like a little text thing over my face when I edit um, every all the information about the books. And then towards the end I'm going to go through which books I liked, which ones I didn't, and maybe give a little bit of uh, more detail on how I felt on some of the books. Definitely not all of them because that would make my video so long and I already make a lot of long videos. So I want to try to cut it down. But we'll see how that goes because I feel like I made a very long intro. So we're going to start right now. So the books I read in 2015 are Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Hannibal Rising, Red Dragon, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, The Crown of Ptolemy, The Kill Order, Hollow City, the second novel of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. The Fifth Wave, A Series of Unfortunate Events, The Bad Beginning. A Series of Unfortunate Events, The Reptile Room. Go Set a Watchman, The Infinite Sea. Secret Lives of the U.S. Presidents. Good Omens, Digital Fortress, Deception Point. The Shining, The Martian, The Book Thief, 
And finally, Library of Souls, the third novel in Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. So, those were the 24 books I read. Um, and let me see. I'm going to talk in detail about six of them. These six are the books that I really loved. And yeah, I'll just get into them. Okay, so the first one that I want to talk about is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Now, I read this in January, so it was a while ago, but I remember when I was reading it, and you might have seen in my um, book review, which I'll link that down below, that I really liked it. And I think it was one of my favorite, it is, well, it obviously is because I'm talking about it, but it was a really great book. The only thing is, I feel like this series could have been so much better, but the second and third books, which I also read this past year, kind of didn't live up to my expectations with with what I have um, expected from reading the first book. So that's why only that book is um, number one. I Not number one, but like being mentioned. Um, I really loved the storyline, I love the characters, and I feel like it could have had so much, it could have been so good, it had so much potential after reading the first book, but it just fell short and sadly that happened. But I did, I really love the first book. Another book that I want to talk about is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I called it in June, I think, June or July, whenever I read it, that this was going to be my favorite book of the year. I think it's up there. I'm not sure if I'd say the, my favorite anymore, but I thought it was really good. But just like Miss with Miss Peregrine, this the second book which I also read um, this year fell short. I'll have to see how it ends up with the next book. I think it's only a trilogy, so I think there's only one more book left. Obviously, if it's a trilogy, but I don't know. I'll have to see how the third one makes me feel to see if this entire series was kind of like a bust, but I have to say I really love the first book. It would have made a great standalone book if, of course, it didn't have, I think it had a plot twist, or not a plot twist, um, oh my goodness. Cliffhanger, that's the word. If it didn't have a cl cliffhanger at the end, it would have been a perfect standalone book, but... Yeah, like I said, the second one wasn't as good. I pre I'm pretty sure I made a book review for both of them, so I'll definitely link those below if you want to watch them. But yeah, I definitely recommend the first book. The second book was kind of eh. Another book that I really loved that I read this year was Go Set a Watchman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Again, I'll link, link that video down below. But I think if you were only to read one book that I read this past year, I think that should be it because just like with To Kill a Mockingbird, it is such a good moral book and it makes you think about how you act towards other people and it was just great and ugh. although I was angry at the end with some stuff, which I'm not going to spoil it, but it was a great book. I'm really glad that we we got it. The fourth book I'm going to talk about is Good Omens, which this is not a very popular book. I literally just picked it up because it reminded me, or the little synopsis on the back reminded me of Supernatural, and I was like, yes, let's read it. So I did. And let me tell you, it was a, it's a hidden gem. It is a really good book. It has dry British humor, which I love, and I love the characters, and just the whole plot of it was just great and I think more people should read that book especially if you like Supernatural because it kind of has a lot of stuff that is similar to the TV show or at least for the first five um, seasons of that show. So if you like Supernatural I recommend you read that book. Okay so the fifth book I want to talk about is The Martian which holy crap I feel like this past year a lot of buzz was with The Martian and for good reason. It was an amazing book. And I haven't watched the movie yet. I have to do that. But I've heard great things about the movie too. Even though it's not exactly the same as the book. It stuck to it mostly. And it was still great. So yeah, I loved the story. I loved the character. The main character. He was so sassy and sarcastic and funny. And I just love those types of characters. 
So yeah, that was definitely going to be a winner in my book. And the fact that it has to do with Mars, which is my favorite planet, was just great. So, yeah. And lastly, the my other favorite book of the year that I read was The Book Thief, which I know I was extremely late to that party, but I'm glad I finally read it, even though it made me cry and just made me emotional, but that's how you know it's a good book, when it makes you emotional. But yeah, I think also the time that I read it was kind of perfect because it was going on when there was a lot of terrorist trouble in Europe and that kind of stuff, so I kind of combined them and thought more about the situation both in the book and in reality. So it was really good. I really recommend it if you haven't read it. It, it makes you... It makes you uh, realize that even though there is a bad side in a war, there's always two sides, there's a bad side and a good side. The bad side isn't necessarily made of all bad people. It's made out of people who are kind of forced to follow or because they'll get killed, get their family and friends killed if they don't follow that horrible leader. And I think that's something we kind of forget. I know I forgot it before because, like I said in my uh, review for that, I used to think that bombing the bad guys would be great because you have to get rid of them before they get rid of innocent people. But the thing is, with the bad people, there are always innocent people, again, forced into their position because they don't want to die, which is understandable. So... Yeah, I thought it had a great moral and it was the timing that I read it was perfect. Now, with these books that I loved, there were a couple that I hated. And I'm only going to talk about one series because I really just... Oh, it's awful. And if you watched my other reviews, you'd know which one it is probably. And it is the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I think the first book started off well. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite. But it was an okay story. I thought the plot was okay. It was a mid book. I thought it could have had a better story if it was written differently, but I mean, I can't change that. But then the next books just went downhill, like st steep downhill, and it was bad. And it took me so long to read it, and I think that's how I know I don't like a book when it takes me forever to read it because. As I said, I'm not one to just stop reading a book mid-book or mid-series or whatever. I, It's like I have OCD. I need to finish the entire thing or else like there's something incomplete in my life. So I needed to read it. But the thing is, I don't want to start another book while I'm reading one already because, I don't know, it's just something I've done lately. I can't do it. But, um... And I don't want to, again, stop reading. So I keep on pushing off reading I, just altogether, which is not good at all. And I could have probably read five books by the time I finished that, finished, uh, that series. But yeah, so those are my least favorite books that I read this year. So I think that's it. That's all I want to talk about. If you have any books that you want me to read in 2016, let me know. If you want to leave me what books you've read in 2015, that would be awesome, because maybe I could get some ideas from that. And yeah, I hope you're having a great day, and I hope your 2016 is awesome. Hopefully mine will be too, and it will hopefully be a better year for reading. I hope. I'll have to make time. But so much work, and school's getting hard. But it's okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do it. So yeah, I'll see you later with the next video I make. Bye.